Hello and welcome! I'm Mitsupiano and you're watching The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sniper. Because I have to admit, this bow is very fun to use for sniping. And we're probably going to be doing more of that today. Sorry. Oh, oh great, there's a turn. Now, wait a sec. Oh, yeah! That makes this so much easier to deal with. Uh, there's the boss door with a skull on it. Comforting. But it brings this way. And yeah, all the crew are locked in here. Not very many of them left. What happened? Did the others get cannibalized for their energy? By the captain? That's concerning. Maybe that's how he lived so long. You're a human, aren't you? Berserk, so how did you get in here, Weep? Dot, dot, dot. You came with the captain to save us, Weep. I'm so happy, girl. But we can't get out of here while that sparky thing blocks the exit, sir. Yeah, so how do I get rid of it? Da, da, da. I almost forgot to mention it, but the engine room is right below this brig. Engine room. That's probably what we activated beforehand. Yeah, it looks like we'll need to activate more. There's a corridor from the engine room that connects to this brig. But to get through the engine room to here, you need to activate the two power generators. Okay, so we activated one of them, now we need the other. Huh? Oh, hey, did you turn on one of the power generators, bro? You still need to activate the other one, sir. There are two power generators, we Okay, last power generator is on the opposite side, and yeah, let's go do those rooms. You can do it, Fui. Okay, so now I know why I'm activating those generators. Also, I'm curious, is there anything of note in here behind combination lock door? You know, if time was reverted, should this chest go back to being closed? I don't know how time shift stones work. And the more I try to think about them, the more my brain breaks. Oh yeah, there's like four chests there. I guess we get to those through the engine room too. Also, wait, why does this ship have an engine? I take back what I said about them actually being conservationists and using sails, because apparently this does run on internal power. Unethically source power, I can only presume. The kind of power that, you know, turned this thing into a sand ship in the first place. But that's just conjecture on my part. All right, so how do we away? Away. <sighs> There's a block here. There's a switch here. Oh, that opens up to the lifeboat. Okay, okay, okay. That's useful. So, Black, you know what to do. There. Okay, so yeah, that lets us go out to the lifeboat. Is this the way down to the engine room? Well, 
<laughs> right, if it's the way down to the engine room, I can't do that until both generators are active, right? Yeah, so... Gotta figure out a way to activate that generator first, then we can do that. So, uh, how do we get in there to do that? Because we can't enter that room in the present, there's like a barbed wire field around it. So... Now wait... Then we can go up on the lifeboat. Hit the time shift stone there, take it back down, and yeah, that would work. Yeah, Cause it's right there, just shoot. And the sand ship has become a sand ship yet again. Oh, whatever. Okay, then yeah, we can get right through here, and then lighten the ceiling, we can use that to... You know, did I ask for your input? I did not. There's another one in here, isn't there? Oh, there's several others in here. Well, why don't we just show them a good time? Die! Okay, now where was I? Right. Hit the time shift stone. Why am I glad this thing is in a high place? <laughs> Activated! Okay. Engine room crushers active. We can get through now, right? Master, I can confirm that the engine room is now fully operational. I suggest hurrying to the break through the engine room and freeing the crew immediately. Yeah, I'll work on that. Wait, do I even need to go that way? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Yeah, just remember, it's the second window. Engine room. <gasps> so I am really curious, like, how do we get up to the room with the boxes? Because I like boxes. I don't know, but I think I'm under the brig right now. So, all right, don't get squished, Link. That did not do what I thought it would. <sighs> all right.
Oh, oh. I already have the whip out, so like. Okay, bet that leads to the treasure room. And I will happily take everything in there. Oh yeah, jackpot. Let's see, another malice crystal. That's what, the fourth one? I'm betting all of this is going to be junk, but I'm taking it anyway. Wait, it's five chests? Wow. Okay, it's not all junk. I mean, rupees don't mean as much to me now because I'm not saving for a very valuable shield, but you never know. Might come in handy. Especially with regard to Beetle's shop, I should probably go check Beetle's after I'm done here. Woo! So, it was some junk, some money, but totally worth it. I find it funny that they put, like, all of these chests in the same room. Okay, there's the other pressure line. Are we gonna have to go on top of the crushers? Is that what this is telling me? Because I think we might. Yeah, I don't think this is exactly workplace safe. Or really any kind of safe. But then again, it's robot workers, they're inherently expendable, so... Open up, you're free. You really came to save us, Veep. My circuits are glowing with happiness, Vroom. Really, Vroom? You came on board to find Nehru's flame, sir? If you want to reveal Nehru's flame, you're going to have to regain control of this ship, Veep. The control room is next to the bridge, but its huge door is sealed shut, and you'll need a key to open it, Vroom. First, you should head to the captain's cabin, sir. The control room key should be in there, Vweep. Please take this key as thanks for rescuing us, Vroom. The key will open the door to the captain's cabin, Vweep. Oh, how convenient. You can get to the captain's cabin through a door on deck in the back, Vroom. Yeah, that door. The one that we hadn't done previously. And... But I'm getting out of here, Vroom. Sorry to leave you on your own, but you look like you can handle it, sir. We're counting on you, Bleep. Where are you gonna go? Are you gonna dive into the ocean? Are you gonna leave on that lifeboat? Also, what about the other two? They left town.
I hope they didn't leave on the lifeboat, because, you know, I'd like to use that to get up to the captain's cabin. Not sure why there was an Amber Relic there, but there was an Amber Relic there. Okay. Captain's quarters. This is pretty bare bones for a captain's quarters. But, uh, okay, do I need to time shift the ship and then come back? I can do that. <sighs> All right. Die. Sorry, I'm quicker on the draw. So what am I looking at here? Can't shoot that because there's a turret in the way. Can't destroy the turret because it's already dead, so... Oh yeah, get stunned by your own beam, jerk. Now then, die. <gasps> Again, pretty sparse for a captain's cabin, but you know, a robot captain doesn't need things like a bed, I guess. <laughs> There hasn't been a single sleeping quarters on this whole ship. Try it again. <laughs> Definitely not as nice as reflecting Breath of the Wild Guardian lasers, but still pretty satisfying, I'd say. Huh? Alright, what sort of weird golden object are you? The squid carving! Huh, wonder if that could be foreshadowing anything. Alright, so yeah, we can get to the boss room now. Wait, did I miss a chest in the treasure room? Because if so, I'm gonna have to double check that now.
Back to Crusher Land. Hoping that wouldn't happen. But I suppose it's not a true crusher experience if I don't get flattened at least once. This isn't the right room. Where the heck is this then? Okay, there's something I'm not getting here. There's just a room on that floor, totally disconnected from everything else. Is it outside the ship? No, it's inside, but like... What? Ugh! You know what? Fine. The chest is probably junk anyway. <laughs> And no, I'm not just saying that because Sour Graves. I'm saying that because, like, all the non-essential chests are junk. <sighs> Let's go fight that boss. Let's take a quick breather before we do. Okay. <laughs> Probably gonna need those. Alright, so we need to make the squid into a skull shape. Like that? That one was surprisingly easy. Okay, yeah, that totally was foreshadowing. Also, the lighting suddenly went really different.
Uh, ship is sinking! Okay, we need to get out of here. Earthport Master, judging by their size, these tentacles belong to a monster of considerable size. Yeah, I think we kind of figured that out already. The current situation is difficult to determine with complete accuracy, but signs indicate that this ship is under attack. If we do nothing, there's an 80% chance the ship will capsize. Okay, so we gotta save the sinking ship from giant squid. I recommend forcing it back with sacred power, then exiting to further assess the current situation. Yeah, okay, tentacles too squishy for regular sword strikes. But sacred strikes. Oh, gotta be vertical though. Because of course, diagonal works too. Abandon ship? Oh, jeez, the thing's already sinking. It's flooded. We gonna have more tentacles coming in? No, just really weird until... Wow, did this ship get trashed quick? So did opening the boss door just... Summon this thing? Am I unlucky, or did gearing him summon this thing? Who knows? I um, guess we're taking a different route to... Yeah. Warning, master. I sense an evil presence on the other side of the store. There's a 90% chance it's the primary body mass of the creature whose tentacles are destroying the ship. I suggest making all necessary preparations before exiting to the outside of the ship. Okay, do we have our bow at the ready? Now we do. Alright. Yeah, okay, we have, uh, half a ship left. <gasps> also, where did the sun storm? criticisms of this boss saying it looks like a monster's ink monster and you know I can see it this guy would probably be very welcome in Monstropolis never mind I think we have less than half a ship no. oh no 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 is gone because I bet like if we knew where it was we could just oh it's over there but we can't reach it but I figure we could just like hit the time shift stone and instantly skeletonize this thing or dissolve it it's a squid it doesn't have bones whatever dry it out turn it into dust is probably what happened to this thing before the... Okay. Uh... Oh, no. Ow!
Okay, I need to aim better. I need to aim much better. I need to quit moving around so much. Also, the floor needs to quit moving around so much. Got it! So, yeah. Classic Zelda boss weaknesses. Bottom of the mouth. Arrow in the eye. Where'd it go? Oh, more tentacles, huh? I can take on tentacles all day. Probably. So what's gonna happen if I run out of here? Because like I spent like ten hours on that. No! Let me know my numbers. No! Ugh. left at this point. Okay, tentacles drop arrows, good to know. Boss music still playing. No, we didn't kill it. But we are losing chips, so. <laughs> Ow. Where are these barrels coming from? Shut up, fine. Yeah. 
Whoa! Okay, snappy tentacles. We do not need this right now. Ow. Away! 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 away. Die. Die. Here in the eye. Knock it to the floor. Give it a good cut. And we're fine. Ow! Okay, gotta get rid of all of these before we can, like, get a clear cut. This is bow, even if we are using the DZ motion control draw, is a little slow. But there. Ugh, now we're done. Farewell, tentacle beast. You have been spared the agony of watching your habitat turn into sand as you slowly dry out. Okay, so the ship is, like, completely destroyed. How the heck are we supposed to get the flame now? Oh, are we just, like, standing right where it is? Okay. Sure, that works. Thirteen hearts. I can't believe Link has the darkness number of hearts. Now see, the tears of Nehru were yellow, but Nehru's flame is blue, so what does that mean? Okay, so the sword has been reforged yet again. One more to go. <gasps> the flames of Nehru have transformed your blade, expanding Fi's powers. She can help you use your dousing ability to search for more objects. Not what I was expecting, but I guess that's useful? I don't know what the heck else I'd douse for, though. Well, actually, I would totally douse for goddess cubes if I can. Is that a thing that can happen? <laughs> Oh, two Triforce symbols. But what could that mean? Spiritual growth? With your sword in hand, you can learn a new melody. I recommend we return to the Isle of Songs. Yeah, okay. That was kind of intense for what was technically an underwhelming boss, so... I'm done for today. Bye!